Anytime your kite is towards the middle of the wind window on its nose, the cartwheel is a pretty reliable way to recover once you get the motions figured out. Just be a little careful not to overdo the yank on the lines or to try to launch afterwards without noticing a snagged wingtip, as that can break a leading edge in a hurry. With the kite nose down and resting on one leading edge, tip the kite back about halfway. Now pull on the wing in the air and release the one on the ground to roll the kite across the other leading edge and into launch position. The kite won't be square to you after the cartwheel, so now give a few tugs on the back wing to pull it even and square it up for launch. How much you tip the kite back before you pull is key. If the spine is too vertical, then the kite won't roll over. If it's tipped too far back, then the wing will scoop air under it and you'll have a tangle. Practice by rolling the kite back and forwards on its nose from one wing to the other. Then use a slightly more aggressive pull and roll the kite all the way over. It's easiest to practice the cartwheel first on 20 foot lines. While you're at it, watch how your lines are snagged around the kite and learn how to untangle a tip wrap with a few tugs on the line. Always cartwheel in towards the middle of the window so that the wind helps to roll the kite over. If you end up just dragging the kite sideways towards you on its back, try giving less slack with the other hand as you pull. Also, try doing the cartwheel closer to the center of the wind window so you can get more help from the wind in rolling it over. 